have that one the lead disappear and then come back from it? How much does that help your team to show that kind of resolve and keep keep bouncing back down the stretch? Yeah, I was just really proud of the group tonight. Um, we're growing down the stretch. We're learning how to close out games, how to win close games. We've not been perfect, and uh, but I thought we grew tonight. We executed things we've worked on in practice. We've had a few days to work in the game. We saw some growth tonight, some poise, some execution, uh, and some great ball movement. We trusted each other, we moved the ball, and that last play with Vic and Tobias was a reflection of the night. You know, Vic draw, draws two, he trusts Tobias. Tobias had missed a couple good good looks. Vic trusted him, and uh, Tobias delivered. And then uh, to close it out defensively, you know, we were active, give Rudy, Rudy Gay a Give him credit, that was a tough shot, but I thought overall defensively execution, offensively we executed well down the stretch. But James, even if, if Nick had been healthy, that would have been a difficult matchup with Cousins, and then you lose him about an hour before tip off. What do you think of the way your remaining guys fared against uh, fared against Cousins? They, they battled tonight. Give, you know, give our bigs credit, every one of them. We tried everything, we threw every body we had in him. You know, we didn't have Nick to start. We battled, battled him well. And next man, they, uh, they stood up and they resisted. Uh, we got into foul trouble early. We were moving guys in and out. That's tough to, that, that hurts your rhythm as a team. But our group stuck together. And give our big man credit. It's, he, he's an aggressive, tough cover down there. He's one of the best in the league, if not the best down low. So when he's playing that, that well, um, you know, we have our hands full. But I thought Dwayne battled, Kyle battled. We had Channing on him, we had Drew on him, and collectively uh, we figured it out. And, uh, you know, but give him credit, he played really well tonight on the James, you put the ball in, in Victor's hands. Did he have the option of maybe attacking the rim or kicking the defiance? Was it kind of a combo combo play with those two guys? It's a secret. <laughs> uh, it, you know, we, we, we like to give our guys options. We never just want to you know, give them one, but uh, he had a couple reads to look at, and uh, he made the right play. You had that 14 to four offensive rebound uh, disadvantage at halftime. Was that more of an emphasis, uh, emphasis going into the second half and how did you guys fare as far as? It was an emphasis in the first quarter. <laughs> it was an emphasis in the second quarter. It was an emphasis at halftime. And you know, they are a big physical team. And, uh, but we did challenge our group. We, we knew if we were gonna win this team, we were gonna have to be much better on the board. And you know, they, they give them credit. They still got a few there in the second half. That's what kept them going, kept them in the game. They shot 38 free throws, and a lot of that was off the offensive rebounds. So um, we battled, Channing 10 defensive rebounds. Uh, you know, he was big for us tonight. Talking about Channing, like you said, 22 and 10, but uh, was his defense? Those few times when he was had to guard Cousins there, you're asking him to do an awful lot. You asked him to do more with Nick out tonight? We did, and uh, we challenged all our bigs. Nick out, next man you know, stood up, uh, rose to the challenge, and Channing guarded him. Channing's a strong kid. He's a strong individual. When he, when he gets his body on you, he's tough to move. And we trusted him a few times against, uh, against Cousins. He's guarded him some in the past. And uh, he was a big part of us winning this game tonight. Offensively, you guys have the best scoring output you've had in the first half. As the offense seemed to slow down in, in the second half, how do you get the team to kind of reach back to, to the defensive principles that, that you built when things seemed to be going so easy for the first 24 minutes? I think when, when the offense is coming easy for any team, not just our team, you tend to relax defensively. You know, you're up 15, 16 scoring the ball. You don't, you don't put as much pressure or as much emphasis on the defensive end. So we have to clean up. We have to be a better defensive team than we were tonight. Now, you know, we were down some bodies tonight. That was, there was, I think we all saw that tonight. But uh, overall, we have to be better defensively. We can't rely on our offense. And that will never be the message. Now, when the game slows down in the second half, teams pick up their pressure. Uh, there was a moment there where we didn't quite respond the right way. But I think we got it back. We were better than last game. I will say that. And especially into the fourth quarter, when the game really slowed down, I thought we executed, we moved the ball, 29 assists. That's a credit to our group, moving the ball, trusting each other, and really executing our half-court sets, which is what happens for the most part in the fourth quarters. 
it seems like Andrew's confidence has continued to grow over the past two weeks. He had a season high 14 tonight. What type of work has he been putting in? And and you see the work out there that he's doing on offense and on defense. Just talk about his improvement of late. He's been fantastic, man. He, he never put his head down when he wasn't playing. He kept working, you know, before practice, after practice. He's worked on his body. If you look at his body now on the floor, he battles against big men, uh, fours, fives. We have him guarding, uh, you know, Williams out there. We had him on Cousins. And it's, it's a credit to him. He's worked in the weight room. He's put in the time. He's put in time on the court, and we're seeing that. We want him down low. I think he's lost that a little bit over the last year or two. He, he's a really – dominant big player inside. That's where he makes his money. And he's added his perimeter game. I love when the shot's going in from the perimeter. Don't get me wrong, but we wanted to score in both areas. And he's worked in those areas uh, to make it work for him. James, before the game, you were asked uh, you know, what you learned at it after 10 games, after a seesaw, crazy, strange game like this. How exhausting is that to you? How many hours will this take for you to Kind of get that adrenaline out of your system and maybe uh, come crashing down. You know, these, it's amazing, it, you know, being in this seat now, it is much more physically exhausting and mentally exhausting. But that's the beauty of this position. And you get to compete every night, you get to coach the best players in the world. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want any other job. I'll, I'll take the sleepless hours and, and do it every single day. You get to coach basketball, get to, get to, Coach 15 wonderful men, be a part of an amazing organization. Um, I'll take the sleepless hours and the, the fatigue, but it is much more exhausting mentally, physically. Uh, but I'll get up every day fired up and ready to go. Well, good. All right.